Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And I got an email alert today about a game I had on my wish list. Uh, this game called Niche. And it's a genetic survival game. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I uh, tried it out for a few hours and it looks neat. It's There's some confusing parts though. So I'll try to talk you through the places I got stuck to ma maybe save you some time. So we'll start a new game here. We'll call it Darwin after Charles Darwin. And if you... I tried story mode the first time, so we'll let it load here. But the unfortunate thing about the story mode is that there's a tutorial that you can't skip, so you have to do the tutorial every time. There's this cute little cutscene here, I'll uh, skip it, let you guys watch on your own. So here, we're, here we are in the tutorial, and if you actually read it, it says you have to click on this little guy to kind of get started. I didn't really do that right away, so I was kind of confused, but... So you click him, and then you can use these paws to move to kind of adjacent tiles. And there's a lot going on here, there's a lot of stuff, uh, but we'll just go kind of go through the motions. So we'll click a blue tile here to move him, and then you're supposed to click the end of the day button, which is this thing, but I just hit spacebar instead. So go to the next day, it looks like he grew up a bit. Uh, it tells us we can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and we can also kind of pan, or not pan, but like rotate the island so we can see other parts. It wasn't immediately immediately obvious to me right now what I what I had to do. Like I tried to click around, but you have to click on him to get the options, or you can hit tab, and you get all the options of places you can move. So it's saying collect some food from the berry bush. Sometimes these icons kind of overlap, so it's really hard to select them. So just rotate if that happens. So we want to click this one to collect fruit. So we got some food and it kind of, it totals up in the bottom right here. And it's telling us to move Adam to the flower part. So we're going to move over here. But we've, we've used up our turn. So it's a turn based game. You can make a certain number of moves and then you kind of go to the next day. And as you'll see, you'll get more and more of these little guys that you can uh, uh, go through, and then you'll be hitting tab to kind of cycle through them. So we'll go to the next day with spacebar, or click this thing at the top. And hit tab to get your options, or click the little guy. So we'll move into the flower patch, and we'll go to the next day. Notice we're using one food per per little animal per day, so we went down by one. So now we can hit tab for our next move. And then you can click on the island to travel to the next place. So before we do it actually, later on when you want to move a whole kind of group of animals, you have to have them all on these flower tiles to be able to bring them all over to the next place. So I guess we used up our move. We'll hit space. And now we can get off this island. So here we are. So let's uh, do a bit of exploring. Now one thing is we're growing up as you can see. And if you look down the bottom left, you can see how much uh, life this guy has left. So Adam has 19 days of life remaining. Or 19 turns. And this little bar here, I like how he's looking around. Um, as he ages, this will get filled up until it gets to the end and then he'll die. He'll become a little pile of bones. So it's kind of sad, but... So you kind of kind of got to keep an eye on all your guys' uh, life force. See how much time they have left to live. Kind of get everything done you can before they, uh, before they die. So it's telling us we can s uh, switch perception mode. And this is actually really useful. So... We're in one right now. If you hit two, you'll be able to see down on the bottom right here where this is our smelling kind of perception and overlay. And then if you hit three, it's the hearing one. So we can hear something else hidden over in the grass here, which is our our mate Eve. It's kind of funny that they used Adam and Eve as the two names because it kind of has religious connotations, but and this is a game about genetics. So I don't know, it was kind of funny. So we'll go back to one just because it's nicer looking. Uh, we'll move over towards uh, Eve here. 
Now we can, uh, this little friendly face here, we can offer five food to her to get her to join our tribe, so we'll do that, click that. So now she's part of our colony, and we can hit tab to activate her and do some things, so we can, let's, uh, this little heart icon will mean that we'll mate with Adam, so we'll, we'll actually do that. So now they're mating, they're happy. <laughs> and Eve is pregnant. If you look in the bottom left, you can see this little pregnant icon. Now she'll only give birth if she gets herself into a nest. And there is a nest over here. We're gonna clear the grass first. And we're gonna go sit in the nest. So if a pregnant female sits in a nest and you kind of go to the next day, uh, she'll have a little baby. So we'll go to the next day, clicking the top thing here, or hitting spacebar. And we got a new little baby. It's so cute. A spotted baby. And we got this little thing over here. It's a little uh, mole, I think it is, which we can hunt. We can uh, we can kill him and get him get food from him. So it's saying we can uh, click on the family tree. So if we select Eve and go to the this little icon down here with the three little heads it shows us the family tree so we got we got Eve we got Adam and we got our new little baby Mila so from this screen you can uh, you can change their name with this little thing here and you can look at all their kind of genetic attributes and we'll get into these uh, a little bit later so we can clear this grass around us so we'll do that. So you'll notice these three green dots. Uh, you can see them also on the animal. It means you can do three things. So you can move once, or move three times. You can maybe clear, glass, clear the grass three times. Maybe move once and clear two grasses. And then they put their head down, which means their kind of turn is over and then you tab to the next animal and then you can do the actions on him or her so we'll this little berry bush we can collect fruit and you can see it goes down here and adds the fruit here so depending on the attributes of the animal it, it kinda determines how much fruit you'll get from a tree so if we look down here at the stats and we kinda hover over this fruit thing we're collecting two fruit kind of per pick and we're getting that from, we're getting one from runner leg and we're getting another one from runner leg. So if you click this icon down here that looks like a little uh, double helix DNA molecule, you can kind of see all their, all their attributes. And I'll kind of explain what's going on here. So each one of these is a gene and there's two alleles, uh, basically two versions of the gene and a lot of these are in a dominant recessive pattern, which means uh, this one on the top that's activated is dominant. And the one that's recessive down here happens to be the same. It's medium ears, but it's not being, it's not activated right now. So let's find a different one. See this eye one, this kind of big eye here is giving two eyesight. And the one below is short sighted eyes, but it's recessive, so it's inactive. I think there's a slight bug here with the with the uh, label. I think it should say plus two eyesight. So the short-sighted eyes are not as good in terms of eyesight, but they uh, they have plus one smelling. So there's ears, horns, which we don't have, eyes. Uh, there's poison fangs, and there's big body. This guy is big body dominant and big body recessive which gives strength and cold resistance, but it, there's a downside as well. There's minus one to heat resistance. And then runner leg. This is what's giving us a, a plus one to collecting. And legs work a bit differently than these other genes. These are dominant recessive genes. These are just kind of like, they're independent. So we could have one runner leg and we could have one claw leg and they would have different properties. And we kind of get a bit out of both. Let's see if Eve has uh, two different, oh yeah, so Eve has two different hands. 
She has uh, one nimble fingers, so c plus two to collecting and plus one to cracking, which is uh, used for cracking nuts later on. And one digging paw, which is plus one to digging. So we'll go back to Adam here. Uh, hind legs, uh, plus two to speed, plus one to swimming. And tails, and all these have different kind of properties. And a lot of the coloring ones, um, they don't actually, they're just cosmetic. They don't have actual, they're not changing any effects. But camouflage does help. It, uh, it helps depending on which biome you're in, you'll remain more hidden. And then there's some really important ones uh, right near the end here. Okay, so there's um, blood clotting. So Adam has normal blood clotting, which is good. When you're a male, you only get to use one of these. Um, the other one's kind of struck out. So if you happen to have the hemophilia uh, blood clotting gene and you're a male, you would definitely have it. But if you were female, you could be a ca carrier for hemophilia. Let's take a look at Eve. So Eve has two copies of the uh, normal blood clotting. So, but later on, you'll you'll experience uh, individuals that you meet that have hemophilia, which you take higher damage if if you're hemophilia active and you take damage, um, you'll have more blood loss. You'll take more damage. And then the la second last one here is uh, fertility rate. So plus three to you, uh, fertility is really good and. Eve has two copies of high fertility, and same with Adam, probably because of the first two species in this uh, in this kind of colony. Let's take a look at the baby, though. So you'll notice Adam has uh, two runner legs, and Eve has nimble fingers and digging paw. So the baby could have a chance of getting kind of a combination of any of these. So. So let's like, take a look. The baby has one nimble finger and one runner leg. So it got the runner leg from Adam and the nimble fingers from Eve. So the final one on the far right here is their immunity. So if you have two of the same immunity, your immunity is really crappy and you're going to get sick a lot and not do as well. But if you have two different immunities, uh, you're going to be healthy. Eve starts out with A and B, so she's healthy. And Adam starts out with kind of the star and G. But if you, let's say, let's say Adam had A and B and Eve had A and B and they had a baby, there's a chance that their, their baby will get AA or BB, which means their, the immunity of the baby is going to be low because they have the same. So you want to take that into consideration when you're, when you're breeding your, your animals. So we'll kind of continue on with the uh, tutorial here. We get Adam to get some food off this tree, maybe clear some brush away, and we've done all our moves so we'll go on to the next day. Now the babies can't really do much in their first day, they're kind of stuck in the nest, but after that they can start moving around. So we'll hit tab and we'll get Eve to go crack a nut, there's a nut on the ground here. So you can actually do things, as long as they're within one tile reach, you can do things uh, without moving, but we'll also move her. And we'll clear the grass right here. And clearing grass, I think, gives you a chance to get these little sticks, which in the, are on the bottom right. And once you have 10 little sticks, you can make a, a nest. And we happen to have a nest here already, but let's say we didn't have this nest and we needed to build one. We could build a nest and then they could have their babies in that nest. So Eve's all done, so we'll move on to Adam. We'll get uh, some fruit. And it looks like this tree, this berry bush is all out of fruit. So we'll just move around instead. And I'm going to use the overlays just to see if there's other stuff. And we can see there's a little bunny over here, I think. What's it called? Oh, we can't click on it. Anyway, so let's move back here and clear some grass away. And I might rotate it just so it's easier to see here. And our little baby, all he can do... Oh, she. It's a she. Mila can only move in kind of when she's a little juvenile here like this. So let's move over here, out of the nest. And it's saying it's the end of the tutorial, so we could kind of head off island here. But I'm just going to keep going a little bit while we're on the starter island. So they've all done their turn. Let's go to the next one. We can see Mila kind of grew up a bit. So we'll move Adam closer to Eve. 
And we can make another baby. So Eve is pregnant. We'll get her uh, in this nest. Don't have to build a new nest when we already have one here. And she can crack a nut while she's sitting in the nest. And Mila, you can. This little icon means you can shake the tree, which will cause nuts to fall down. So we'll do that. Let's see what uh, Mila's stats are. So Mila has plus three to gathering, so she's really good at gathering. And even though um, Eve here has can ha still have a turn to do things, we'll just park her in the nest and we'll hit spacebar to go to the next day. And she's got another baby. Kirovan. Now it's a male. Emilia was a female. And you can interbreed. You can have the babies have babies. But I think uh, it can cause issues. Especially with Im immunity. So Adam was originally star G immunity. And Eve was AB. So our second baby here is AG. And Mila is A star. So if we mated Mila, if we mated the two babies, we'd have a chance of getting immunity AA, which would be weak immunity. And that's kind of why you don't want to uh, interbreed them. Now, if you have two high fertility genes and you mate with another person or animal that has two high fertility genes, you're guaranteed to get high fertility. So it's kind of good to keep the high fertility individuals mating. And if, let's say you had two low fertility individuals, you want to just let them die out instead of mating them. So I think one of the main goals of the game is to like weed out the weak genes and kind of get more strength, strong genes. And also to try out uh, different properties so that they can maybe get into the water or other types of things they can do. And also just make them look cool. So we'll kind of go, go through all their turns here. Let's get Eve uh, off the nest. Oh, there's a bunny. We can try to catch this bunny. So we, we attacked the rabble and we killed it. So we got some meat here. And we'll get uh, we'll get Adam to move up one, clear this grass and crack this nut. And Mila, she can gather some food because she's a really good gatherer. Or I thought she was a good gatherer. Plus three, yep. Yeah. Oh, but we ran out of fruit, so that's why why we only got two fruit. So you got to make sure you're gathering enough fruit uh, to keep your colony alive. So every every day we're going to be using four food now. So we got to make sure we can keep up with that. So we'll go get this meat off the ground. Next turn. So we'll get this uh, get this meat off the ground. And Eve will move up here and try to kill this stag mole. Oh, we did. We got him. Notice Eve has a strength of two due to her big body, and that determines the damage that we're doing per attack. So we'll move this little little guy out of the nest, Kirovan. Make sure to keep checking your other overlays to see what else you got. And you can attack a berry bush. I'm not sure why you would want to, but you can. We'll move her back over here. Now they're all done, so we'll go to the next day. And our babies grew up a bit. So we've kind of explored everything we wanted to, so maybe we'll head off into this area here. And you do that by getting everyone kind of on these pink flowers. So I think they're all on the thing now, so we can we, we can use Adam to get off the island. So here we go. All animals on port fields migrate to the, the other island. Animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. So if you left some stragglers behind, they'd be stuck here forever and we just move on. And you take the food you have with you, so that's really good. So here we are, a little family. Family of four uh, on a new island. So let's take a look around. Looks like we could go left or right. But we'll uh, we'll try to explore this island first, 
And I'll use my overlays just to see if there's anything. We can see there's a berry bush here. Anyway, let's clear some grass here first. We'll move up one, clear some grass. Get Adam to move up there. Clear some grass. And get the babies up there. Cute little babies. Actually, they're growing up now. Caravan's the little runt. So now that we're a bit closer in, we can look at our overlay again and can't really see anything new. So go to the next day. We actually should harvest this bush here with Mila, because Mila's the best gatherer. And clear that grass. Clear this grass. We'll keep her parked there by the bush, so she'll be able to keep eating. And Kirovan, let's move him back here. And Eve, I think Eve and Adam can uh, have one more baby. They can have more babies, but we'll just do one for now. These are really strong individuals because they've got this high fertility, and they're they have they have four different immunity things, so they're going to make uh, really robust children. So we'll get them going again. Some love making. And there's a nest hidden down here that Eve can go park herself in, clear the grass. Adam can... Uh, now if, he, if Adam tried to like uh, mate again, you can see it says Eve is already pregnant, so he can't really do anything. So we'll just keep moving back here and exploring. So we're all done, we'll go to the next round, next day. And we got a new baby! Van Rota. Now let's see what Van Rota got. So, Van Rota's immunity is BG. So she got G from Papa. And B from Eve. We could mate Mila and this newest baby and they would be fine because A star mated with B, G are fine. All the babies will be robust in terms of Im immunity. They'll all, they'll all have high fertility which is good. They'll all have normal blood clotting. So I think we'll actually do that. We'll mate them once uh, Van Rota has grown up a little bit. We'll get Mila to harvest. Oh the so that berry bush is done now. So the berry bushes, once they're once they're com completely exhausted, you have to wait until it rains before they fill up again. We're kind of low on food. We only have six food. And there's a berry bush back here. So we'll get uh, maybe get Mila back there, getting the berry bush. We'll move. Uh, let's move Adam back some more. That's it for the day. So we're actually gonna have start taking some damage I think because we're starving and we did get a bit of food uh, I think these berries grew back without without rain so let's collect those we only got one and we'll move back over to this other berry bush here so we're out of food there's gonna be some their health's gonna probably start going down oh damage due to starvation. So this little red bar shows damage. And Adam's gonna die in five days anyway because he's getting really old. So sometimes you'll encounter predators like bears and stuff. Uh, but we haven't gotten any of those yet. You can usually see them hiding in the in the back. We really need some rain. Go to the next day. Oh we got some rain! Yay! So that means all the berry bushes should regrow. Now let's uh, get Mila to harvest all those berries. I think we might uh, try to make another baby with Eve actually. Before they die off. So Kirovan, AG, male, BG, A star. So Mila can 
uh, mate with Kirovan. So Kirovan, yeah, we can uh, we can mate. Now it says she's already pregnant. Sometimes it shows that, even though I think it's a bug. It should really not show that right away. But anyway, keep clearing some grass. I like how the the mouses makes their heads go. We can make them get into the music. Say no, 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 no. Yes, no. Anyway, so everyone's done. We'll go to the next day. So we're low on food again. So we. Gotta collect some food. And we got a new baby! Curvanu! So Curvanu is a B star immunity, high fertility. And Mila is pregnant, so we want to get her in that nest right behind her. Poor Adam has only two days to live. Guess we'll get him to clear some grass and explore and maybe go die off in the corner there. Poor Adam. The cycle of life. So this is a baby of siblings. I'm not sure why this is red here, but immunity is good, AG. She's a female. It's, it's Miko. Anyway, I think I'll wrap up this episode because kind of got the basics down. Um, oh, there's, uh, right before we, before we end, we'll, I'll explain this here. Actually, I'll, do, I'll save it for next episode. But this is someone new that can join our colony and increase the genetic diversity. So they might have some traits that we don't have yet. Uh, like horns, for instance, which uh, add strength and other attributes. So we'll do that next episode. But I just wanted to get through the basics in this one. It's it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of, a lot of things going on. But those core attributes, fertility, immunity, hemophilia, which we'll get to later, you want to make sure these are kind of stay good, and you don't want uh, you don't want any hemophiliacs to kind of breed. You don't want any low fertility to breed because it'll get harder and harder to keep your colony alive. And if you get two of the same immunity, they'll they'll get sick and they'll take damage every round or every day, and they'll eventually die off quickly, which is also not good. And then you may want to specialize some people for uh, gathering and some people for hunting with the little claws. I haven't gotten that far into the game myself, so we'll uh, get into that next time. There's mutation, which I didn't even get into, and I'm not even sure exactly how it works yet, but I'll do some research. And then our family tree. You can see these siblings had their little baby. Now, we were able to kind of look into their genome and see that everything was okay. In real life, you can't. Well, you can do that now. Actually, you can check the. Uh, you can do in vitro fertilization and check the genome, uh, and then implant the embryo if it's good. But generally, people don't inbreed anymore. Uh, yeah, not intentionally. <laughs> anyway, so cool game. I'm looking forward to like getting into it a bit more. Lots of complexity, I think. So hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos or interested in other games I play. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.